The emergency of modern games culminates in their aesthetics. The AAA industry and culture of video games are dominated by corporations that perpetuate exploitative labor practices, work to depoliticize their hegemonic narratives and gameplay, and are locked in an endless technological progression that takes the form of higher resolution graphics and greater verisimilitude. An aesthetic force is needed to thrust us into the awareness of today's emergency. For video games, this force is pixel graphics and simplified gameplay. Using their supposed superseded graphics and control schemes, independent retro-style games are weaponizing their aesthetics to produce shock and cause dissensus for good. Similar to micro-game collections like the WarioWare series, Dysphoria apes the aesthetics and gameplay of classic games like Pac-Man, Tetris, and Breakout to explore developer Anna Anthropy's experience with hormone replacement therapy. In these microgames, you are not supposed to win, nor are you supposed to lose. They are only there to represent the effective experience of Anthropy's own frustration, anxiety, and societal disapproval. In Undertale, JRPG aesthetics and gameplay, common in games like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy, are subverted in particular through the choices the player is given within a combat encounter. Instead of fighting or using an item, as is traditional in JRPGs, the player can act. Selecting act over fight allows a number of non-violent actions, including compliment, pet, hug, and insult depending on the enemy encountered, encouraging the player to think about the moral choices in video games. While being otherized from the mainstream as part of the indie game's meta-genre, the growing popularity of these and similar titles gives hope for a future outside of the emergency.